Well, 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 it's that time of the night that we all love. Time to learn some English pronunciations. Note that it's not pronunciations, but pronunciations. Willis, let me bring you in right now. I'm trying to take over what you do best. <laughs> Actually, I'm really touched by that when you talk of pronoun. We have the verb pronouns, yes. but the noun form is pronunciation, not pronunciation. All yes. right. Willis, it's great to have you tonight looking good as always. I'm seeing we're rocking the, you know, the color of royalty. <laughs> And uh, another coincidence. I know, I know, Willis. All right, let's get straight to our word on the street. Let's hear this. Dumbest, dumbest, dumbest. Danny best. 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 Dumbest, dumbest. Dumbest, 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 dumbest. <laughs> Willis, there you go. Some difficult pronunciations there. Let me tell you, Willis, if you give me that word, I'd also have a lot of trouble with it. Take us through that word. Let me spell it out. D-A-M-N-E-D-E-S-T. What do you, call, how do you pronounce that word that is used to emphasize something? In the first place, that word is not commonly used in British English. In fact, it's an informal word uh, commonly used by the North Americans, yes. Betty. Uh -huh. But the pronunciation is damnedest, uh -huh. damnedest. Uh -huh. So you talk of most surprising, that is the damnedest thing I saw ah. at the fair. Uh -huh. Or you have also, you know, to work hard as much as you can, uh -huh. you know, to do your damnedest. Uh -huh. okay. Not damnedest, not damnedest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got it, Willis. Yes. Let's straight move on to uh, the second word. Now, it's a word that is um, the, the act of investigating or asking questions. Do we say inquiry or inquiry? We say inquiry, mm -hmm. inquiry, mm -hmm. inquiry. But okay. what we must remember is we have inquiry mm -hmm. with I mm -hmm. at the onset, yes. beginning with letter I. The other one begins with letter E. The one with letter E is British spelling, and the one with letter I is American. Just like color ah. with O-U-R, uh -huh. British, and O-R, uh -huh. American spelling. Ah, got it, Willis. Got inquiry. It. Inquiry, got it. All right, let's move on to another word here. It's a book that lists words in groups of uh, synonyms, sort of like a dictionary. I hope I've said that correctly. <laughs> Is it thesaurus, yes. thesaurus? Um, how do you pronounce that word, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> the word is thesaurus, uh -huh. thesaurus. Thesaurus. Not thesaurus, mm -hmm. not thesaurus, mm -hmm. thesaurus. Right. And the plural is Tisori, Tisori, mm. not right. Tisori. Okay. No. All right, Willis. Let's but move on. But you also have Tisoruses. Mm -hmm. All right, Tisoruses. Got it. Now let's move on to another one. Um, a word that means, you know, the office or authority of the Pope. Is it papacy, papacy? Is it papal or papal? We say papacy, mm -hmm. papacy, mm -hmm. not papacy the way it's commonly pronounced locally mm -hmm. papacy and papal okay. papal not papal. papal not papal ah okay got it willis now there's this word that uh, a lot of students use uh, especially in uh, chemistry do we say aluminium or aluminum i had varied pronunciations um, on this word 
<laughs> but we have luminary luminary but the word which you are asking about is aluminium alu aluminium what <laughs> just repeat that aluminium wow okay aluminium there you are aluminium yes that's a surprise really i'm sure that was, should have been a surprise word aluminium and not aluminium like we're used to say Alu. 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 All right. Okay. Alu, yes. Al aluminium. All right. Got it, Willis. That's a surprise. <laughs> I used to say aluminium. Um, but anyway, let's move on to Hello. our... Uh -huh. Yes, Willis? Okay, Willis. Let me, let's get straight to our, our, our next word. Do we say country or country, taking into consideration that we say county so is it country same as county or is it country and why betty i've always talked about irregular sound values for similar letter sequences in english phonology okay. that is the speech sounds in english uh -huh. or the sound system okay. so we have country uh -huh. country but uh -huh. we also have county county with a glide mm -hmm. or a vowel glide mm -hmm. county mm -hmm. country just like we have horse but we say was not was yes i hope you get that i guess i i get it yes. willis all right so it's country but county yes. so it's okay fine then let's move on to another word here yes. um debacle or debacle debacle mm -hmm. debacle Day buckle. What people should avoid, especially in careers of serious communication, is mm -hmm. saying debacle. Mm -hmm. Day buckle. Wow. Day buckle. Not debacle. Another surprise. Like depot, mm -hmm. not deport. Not uh -huh. deport. Uh -huh. We say depot. Dep Beer depot. Yes. All right. And uh, I think it's also prudent that you talk about deposit or deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that one, the problem is many people think it's pronounced the way it is spelled, mm -hmm. which is not the case. Okay. We say deposit. Okay. deposit. Deposit, not deposit. All right. But the word we started with is debacle. Debacle. Is that right? Debacle. Debacle. Yes. All right. Well, uh, we've had such a, a, num a number of surprises. Do we have any other surprise for tonight, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> In the first place, there is a lady in Kisumu City called Acheng Abwam, who was also asking me a question. Do we say loud or loud when somebody speaks uh, loudly? Uh -huh. I told her already you've gotten the correct pronunciation. We yes. say loud, uh -huh. loudly. Okay. Anyway, uh -huh. my surprise word tonight, Betty, is uh, when we come to, you know, people talking of a large group of insects like mm -hmm. flies or bees, Many people say a swam, swam. Yes. Which is the past tense of the word swim. Uh -huh. Swim, uh -huh. swam. Yes. But when we talk of a swarm uh -huh. of bees, yes. we should avoid swam. Okay. So we say swam, swam. <laughs> a swarm of bees, a swarm of locusts, uh -huh. but not a swam of bees. So swam, no. All right. Swam. Swarm. <laughs> Willis, that's a great way to end there. Such a surprise. A swarm. Day buckle. Those are very crucial words and, you know, very interesting surprises. Willis, always a pleasure having you on the show. I guess it's up to next week. Until next week, um, God willing. <laughs> Thank you for now. All right.